This is One on One. We are pleased to welcome George Resch, who is uh, the creator, he's a meme creator known as Tank Sinatra. That's right, Tank Sinatra on Instagram. Over one million followers. How you doing? I'm great. And Thank you. Way, can, I, can I plug your book? Of course. It's called Happy is the New Rich. Now, how do you go from the memes, which I originally thought was pronounced memes, but it's me, and you said, what am I, French? It's not French. In France, is it a mem? Meme? Oui, oui, oui. It yeah. is? Yeah. Here, in Jersey and New York, it's a meme, <laughs> and this, is, it a bunch, is this a bunch of memes? They would, I mean, they'd be like emotional memes, I guess, of some sort. They're all very short, concise directions or reflections that I've, that I collected over like 10 years of just trying to like figure life out. It wasn't, I didn't mean to write a book. I really had no intention while I was jotting these things down. I just, you know when you like think of something and you don't want to forget it and you think to yourself, that's so good, there's no way I'll forget it. And then three seconds later, you have no idea what the thought was. Yeah. I was ahead of that and I just started writing down everything. So is that where the memes come from? Yeah, yeah, it's a very similar process. It's like, it's either there or it's not. There's well, no writing. What do you mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean there's no writing? You do write, like you have to write the words, but it's not like a comedy writer where you come up with a premise and then you dig into the layers of it and you rewrite and rewrite. It's either like in the instant, it's there, or it's not. So it's very difficult to try and capture that and to try, it's like impossible to force, but it's also very difficult for me to stop because when I see a picture, I think of a caption automatically. Okay, so we're gonna put, uh, can we put up some memes? Let's see, help us understand, where is this? Guess <laughs> whose son has made up, made up gluten allergy? Her son <laughs> definitely has something made up wrong with him that she's using to keep him inside and safe. Look at her, man. She's, Look, what, what are you What is that? From? Unless you're in the Nile at a soccer game, that is completely <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> Show me another one. I love this. Good. Okay, you got a Matthew Perry. Oh, man. Read that for us. When it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, but so. Why that, are you doing that to Matthew Perry? Can I tell you something? Go ahead. So that's like my favorite meme I've ever made. However, is the there, meme mean? There is. Was that meme mean? I have mixed feelings about that meme because I have so much respect for him. It's my favorite because of the layout of it and the fact that. Put it up again. Well, well, yeah, well, well George's talking about put it up again. Most memes start with the word when for whatever reason. So when this popped into my head, it was like I got giggly because I was like, this is, this is going to be really funny. And it was funny. It's obviously the worst picture of him that's ever been taken. He's the, he doesn't look like that. He's, I have a he's tremendous, a good guy. tremendous amount of respect for Matthew Perry with his struggles and everything Talented, he's been through. Open so, about it. Yes. Do I feel a little guilty about that? Yes, but I'm still happy with the finished product. Well, I'm curious about this. Uh, before we go to the Olympics, uh, how the heck do you get one million plus people saying, yeah, I'm with you? Oh, I don't know, man. Just yes, keep, you do. Just, you got to tell us. If there was like a real... By the way, Instagram, uh, get some more PBS folks. You don't care if they... No. Uh, thanks, Nash. Put it up. I love Instagram you. account. I love PBS. Go ahead. Of course you do. So excited to be here. Hash I'm not even kidding. I was going to say hashtag. It's the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, what, did you, what did you just say? I'm, so, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm very excited to be here. I'm a huge PBS. So, okay, so when you get the picture of us together, yeah. what do you think? Caption wise? Yeah. Two studs. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> you are so perceptive. Yeah, I know. I know how to get people to <laughs> Okay, let's do the Olympics. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't wait to watch the. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that is? That's from Blaze and Glory? Yeah, good, good, yeah. I didn't know what one of my producers just said. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Um, come on, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so, some are funny. Yeah. Some are just stone cold mean. No, they're never mean on purpose. I don't make okay. stuff that's mean for the sake of being. Are you trying to be poignant? Trying to be, trying to draw humor out of anything. So sometimes it's like getting blood from a stone, but I will get it. I, there's topics that I will not joke about. I will not joke about. And there's a whole subset of people online that yeah. make 9-11 memes and Holocaust right. memes. That to me is just distasteful and not funny. But yeah, if somebody's struggling, I think the best way to deal with it is to poke a little fun at it, myself included. Do people steal your stuff? Yeah. How? Um, do you want me to tell everyone how to steal it? Or? No, no. no, no but how do you deal with they, it? They screenshot it. They post it. It's... It's something that I've given up on policing, to be honest with you. I've, 
I've had a lot of good luck with, with credit in the past with larger accounts. They have credited me properly. It helped me grow my account tremendously in the beginning, which to answer your question, how do you get this many followers? Right. Exposure, consistent, quality, and just relentless, just nonstop. I've never not, I've, it hasn't been a day that I haven't posted in the past three years, at least. Big team you got working for you? Big me. Stop, it's not just you. It's what do you got, like me. 15, 20 people? It's just me. Steve. What about your people? Everybody's got people. Who are your people? Um, me, myself, I, no, I, I mean, I draw inspiration from everybody, but nobody is touching my page. Nobody's making time. That's all you? All me. What's Tank's Good News? Tank's Good News is one of the best things I've ever done in my entire life. Um, about so when Hurricane Harvey was going on and the country was upside down and underwater, literally, um, there was a lot of tragedy and devastation and people were obviously upset. But what I saw was people coming to the aid of each other and being selfless and going to bat and putting their own lives on the line. And that's what I made an account dedicated not to the hurricane itself, but that was the impetus for it. And then I thought to myself, there's always something good going on. If the media, not to whatever, brought paint, you know, cast a, a, a wide net over the entire media, but largely they want people scared, so they tune back in because fear is exciting and it makes people want to find out what's happening next. So I just went the complete opposite way, and I think people get a really good, not warm and fuzzy, I'm not sappy mm. or preachy, I'm not trying to like, you know, be something that is impossible to attain. I'm a very human person, I have flaws and character defects, but the way that I mm. combat it, or the way that I try and at least contrast all the tragedy out there is by only posting good stuff, especially in the midst of a tragedy. Real quick, I love the title of the book. Why should people get this book? Um, they should get that book because it's a very different experience. And I think any other book, there are, this book um, called, there's a book called Salt, which is very deep. It's a little bit more poetry based. Mm. This is just, you can open it, read it. You mm. can open it to any page, any day, and get something out of it to carry with you. Real quick, what's, what's your new app? Go. The new app is called Momus, Momus Meme Studio. Spell that. M-O-M-U-S. M-O-M-U-S. Yeah. Meme. Studio. Hey, you're good. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much, appreciate you coming in and uh, spreading the good news. No problem. Thank you. Thank you for having great, me. George. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Investors Bank, Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, Guarini Institute for Government and Leadership at St. Peter's University, the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, United Airlines, the Northward Center, and by New Jersey Sharing Network. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.